Item number SCP-2449. Index, unexpected confinement. Object class, Keta. Special containment procedures. Instances of SCP-2449 are to be physically blocked off on all sides with concrete. The resulting structures are to be incorporated into locally appropriate buildings or public works that conceal or de-emphasize the existence of containment chambers. Should an instance of SCP-2449 be empty or its previous subjects deceased, its exact spatial bounds are to be redetermined by D-Class personnel according to document 2449-1. In case of pre-existing casualties to an instance of SCP-2449, standard life support is to be enabled according to document E-21, Ethics Standard for Treatment of Human Subjects. Structures are to be built with openings for routine food supply and plumbing support. Installation and maintenance of facilities inside SCP-2449 has to be performed by subjects. In cases of subjects being affected by an instance that precludes minimum quality of life size of less than 5 cubic meters, euthanization may be offered after prior level 3 clearance is acquired. Containment procedures and publicity suppression plans for newly formed instances of SCP-2449 are available to containment teams globally. Foundation personnel are to keep a minimum distance of 0.5 meters from the borders of SCP-2449 at all times. Description. SCP-2449 is a phenomenon in which cuboid regions of space permit living things with a mass greater than 5 grams from exiting, but not entering, their boundaries. Instances of SCP-2449 have no visible boundaries and remain permeable to non-living matter. Currently known instances of SCP-2449 range in size from 0.5 by 0.5 by 1 meters to 25 by 20 by 5 meters. Instances of SCP-2449 have been found in locations ranging from a cave in the Turkish Taurus Mountains to an apartment complex in Baku, Azerbaijan. In 14% of cases, the location and size of instances have coincided with existing rooms in a building. 44% coincided with the locations of existing structures but reached through walls, stones, or other obstructions requiring modifications of the location to achieve containment while 40% had no overlap with human constructs or natural phenomena. For a full list of locations, see document 2449-2. SCP-2449's effect is extended to non-living objects that are in direct contact with specimens inside. As such, removing objects from within an instance of SCP-2449 should be performed by throwing or dropping, similar to how supplies are inserted. Statistical analysis has found no link between known locations of SCP-2449 or presumed dates of appearance. Expected growth of SCP-2449 is less than five instances per decade. Addendum. While initial analysis deemed SCP-2449 potentially qualified for the containment of humanoid SCPs, use for this purpose has not been authorized. Directives on cross-testing of SCPs apply fully to SCP-2449 outside of emergency orders from site directors. Addendum 2. After the establishment of SCP-2449-37 within the boundaries of the Site-44 Astronomical Observation Laboratory, local procedures have been amended. The five site personnel contained within will continue their employment within limits to man Observation Unit 2 and will receive full attention to the preservation of quality of life. On-site family will be allowed limited contact with subjects. Non-Foundation relatives will receive notices of their death and standard Foundation benefits. Non-essential furniture within SCP-2449-37 will be removed to create enough space for simultaneous reclined sleep of three personnel. Should less than two personnel remain available to man Observation Unit 2, on-site technicians are to fill vacancies and allow continued operation.